Okay, so I am on my way to the Dollar General. The other video I made was with the uh, Dollar Tree. And this one is the Dollar General. And it's a little bit closer than the Dollar Tree to where I live. You know like when you got like you doing skateboarding videos and you're recording and stuff? The fisheye lens makes things like bigger, smaller, sort of warped. I'm looking at this and it's like, man, the bill on this hat looks like some Guinness Book World Record type shit going on. I mean, it's a pretty big bill when you don't like curve it and stuff. Because I like to put this hat backwards a lot of the time. I like to have it kind of flat. So it's like totally ridiculous right now. I'm the front side when I'm wearing it like this. Because you know, I was out in the sun kind of a while, a while yesterday, and, you know, I was like, oh, snap, you know, and luckily my face didn't get that burned, but my arms were getting a little pink after about an hour, and I was like, okay, yeah, so I found, like, this, like, jacket or whatever. Um, yeah, so I'm, like, headed to that store right now. Shouldn't be more than... Nine minutes, ten minutes. I heard something about this gray dot on their clearance or their clothing items or their items in the store. You know, you can like search the whole store and I guess Tuesdays are the day for Dollar General penny items. And basically it's anything with a gray dot. So like you look at the little tag and it has like a dot possibly on there. Blue dot gray dot, yellow dot, I think, and red dot or something. And I guess the gray dots are like possible penny items. I don't know. I see an awful lot of this going on on YouTube and I'm like, hey, you know, I got one right down the road. It's like 0.7 miles. Why don't I just check it out? And it's Wednesday, of course, right? I missed it by a day, but it's like all heck with it, you know? They said that all of these, uh, uh, any of these color dots can be found on any day of the week. It's just Tuesdays are usually the days where it's like a big markdown and a big clearance uh, with the dots has been uh, <laughs> determined and respoken, you know. So it's like a giant fish pool that got re replenished on Tuesdays. But anyways, I'm going today. It's Wednesday, and I'm going kind of early-ish. It's like, let me see here. Check my time-telling device. Okay, 9, 10. And in the morning, they opened up at 8. So it's like I'll get there like, I don't know, maybe 9.30, I guess, at the latest. I mean... Probably earlier, I mean, that's like 20 minutes. It's gonna take me 20 minutes to walk 0.7 miles. Jeez. That's like to the fucking housing office and back. The leasing office and back in my apartment complex, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Not too shabby. There's a family dollar right next to it. And then if you keep going, like, maybe from the 0.5 miles or so, it's like, bam, Dollar Tree. And then it's like, if you go 0.2 miles more, it's another family dollar. It's kind of nice, you know. But I finally figured that out here. I've been living here for like a year. This new apartment complex. And it's like, man, all these dollar stores. Because it's like, just fun to browse around. Sometimes they got the coolest shit. Sometimes they're like, yeah, I don't think so. Like, this is clearly 20 cents. This is 23 cents, I'm quite certain. But sometimes you walk in and you go, What? Okay, do I need it? Like, you know, you start freaking out over the price and what you're looking at. You're like, I don't even get it. I don't even get it. And it's true, too, because there was this one item. They were called cookie dough bites. And you can eat them raw because the way they make the flour for these cookie dough bites in a box, kind of like how you make brownies, 
the way they make the, the, the flour that they use is heat treated flour and it kind of sounds like the same thing that milk goes through when you pasteurize it basically you know give it the threshold or hold it to threshold of a high high temp and then you let away with it and you let it get back down to normal and then you hit it again with a high high temp and it's called heat treated flour I'm not really sure what it's called like it's an actual one name but that's what it is it's heat treated so you can eat it raw I don't know about you I've been eating like raw cookie dough since it's like hey you know fucking 30 something years ago and shit and it was like don't eat it cause of the eggs and stuff and I was like, you know, this tastes really good. Are you sure this is bad for me? I never had a problem. Not that I knew of. I don't know who the heck did. And I, people still eating it right now. And that's the first item I've ever seen. These cookie dough bites. But you can eat it raw. And I tell you, the ingredients are like the mix, right? The mix in the box. They got the separate mix for like the drizzle you put on the cookie dough bites. And it's... uh it's like a bunch of these little, almost like a Hershey Kiss, but like not a, not exactly that shape. Sort of like a flattened down. <laughs> like somebody took the kisses and they're, they're usually vanilla. They're usually vanilla. The only ones I've seen are like a vanilla drizzle. So vanilla kisses in there and they'll smash down. And there's like 18 of them in there or some shit. It's just a, just a little package in comparison to the mix. You're supposed to mix all that together with a half a cup of butter. I don't know about you, I like butter and all, and I get it, buttery, savory, it's all good, yum, yum, yum. But there's a point where you just look at that and you say, a half a cup? Damn! Like, wow, that's a, that's a, is that a half a stick? I'm not sure, I don't really cook. But I think that might be like half a stick of butter, and I'm like, Jesus, you know? Like, what is this like without butter? Fuck it. So I don't, I didn't put butter in it. It just sounded gross to me. I was like, let me, let me just try it out. See if it even emulsifies or whatever the word is. You know, like pudding. If you don't put the right additive in and just water. Maybe it doesn't like get a thickness like pudding. And you would just be kind of drinking your pudding. So I put the water in, you know. And that's the only thing. And I said, fuck the drizzle. If I want the drizzle, I'll add to it. Like it's cookie dough. I don't remember drizzle and butter being added to the damn thing. It was cookie dough. You know, this is just a, <laughs> this is a product of my generation, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's fantastic with both those and I don't get it, but whatever, right? If I'm satisfied with whatever the fuck it is with the cookie dough only, then I'm not going anywhere else, man. I'm not going to fix a thing that ain't broke. So, plus I'm not going out to get all that butter either. Alright, so, you know, if you eat it right away, it's kind of like, it's thick. Thicker than pudding, I'd say. But you like cookie dough is pretty fucking thick. I mean, that's a solid. I mean, it's not the most solidified solid, but it's pretty solid. So it's like, okay. And they say, you know, if it doesn't like, you know, harden right away or whatever, it's thicker, it's thicken right away. Just throw that, throw it in the fridge for like five, ten minutes. So I throw it in there. I forget all about it. It's like 45 minutes later, an hour and a half, something like that. Open it up. I go to, you know, I dip my fork in there and it's like, whoa. It's still not quite, like, cookie dough value, but I'm like, damn. Like, big difference in just a short amount of time because it's colder. It's astounding what temperature can do. No wonder they fix the flour for all the raw eating cookie dough people of our time. <laughs> they probably prefer it that way. Like, who knows, man? Some of those old buzzers, man. You can't buzz them. But I tasted it, and I was like, wow. That is so everything that I like. You know, sugary enough, um, buttery enough. I don't even know if there's actual fat in it if you don't add the butter. I'm not even sure. But I tasted it and it was like fan-fucking-tastic. I was like, what the hell do you need drizzle for? I could not wrap my head around adding drizzle to this because it was so beyond spectacular with the sugary. And it's not even that much sugar in it. You know? It's like four grams of sugar per serving, which like, you know, four fucking grams of sugar <laughs> per 
you know, two tablespoons. You're not kidding around. That's kind of a lot of sugar if you really kind of look at it and see what you're working with. But when you think about anything, it's like, okay, it's not that much. I've had cookie dough before, shit. But I was like, wow, I can't even imagine adding drizzle. So I didn't add the drizzle. I, I let it sit there for a while, the drizzle in a package. I mean, it's all packaged up. It's not like it's going to go bad. I'm like, maybe I'll use it one day. And like weeks went by and I was like, oh yeah, I guess not. Okay, threw it out. Well, I had looked, on, uh, like I couldn't find it anywhere after I found it once at the Dollar Tree. There's these cookie dough bites. I was like, whoa, what a steal. I <laughs> grabbed that. There's only one there randomly placed in a, one of them shelves. I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> you know, you kind of feel like you stole something. You're like, damn, man, it's supposed to be in the store. But it was great, you know, it was great. And you get a pretty good amount, considering it's a nice dessert. I don't know if you care about healthy things, whatever that means when it comes to fat and sugar. It's really not sky high like you think cookie dough would be. Like, maybe a lot of it has to do with this heat treated flour. I'm not really sure. So anyways, I couldn't find it there again for the life of me, man. Weeks went by. So then I went, and I was like, hey, let's check out grocery stores, huh? And back then, it was a dollar at the dollar tree. Now it's a dollar twenty-five. So you can, you can imagine it kind of a while. But, like, I, I seriously just checked out of the stores, and I was like, okay. So, all right, well, I'm here at the dollar. Can you see that sign? Where is it? I mean, it's so tough when I can't turn this thing around. Can you kind of see it? There it is. I'll just keep walking to finish my story. So I found it at other stores like Walmart. I found it at, like, Stop and Shop. And maybe Price is right. Price right? Right Price? Price right? Right? Right Aid? I don't know. Something like that. Like, not too many stores, really. Just, like, three. But it's, like, enough. How many do I need? So I'm looking and comparing prices. I couldn't couldn't for some reason I couldn't find one on Walmart so like when I was going to get my soda at the time at Walmart because they sell it half the price as everybody fucking else for some reason which is astoundingly different in price I happened to catch notice that there was like you know I happened to be walking through the aisle I'm not really sure what they maybe I was getting syrup or something and I was like hey wait these are cookie dough bites and I was like oh yeah let me check it out and I'm looking at these prices, and it was like seriously two to three dollars less than everybody else. Like at the grocery stores, nobody be selling it as cheap as Dollar Tree was though. A dollar for that box, dude. Walmart was like two something, and I was like, wow. And it's even a further drive for me to get to Walmart. So I was like, man, bummer, dude. That was like just that. When I was on, I was on a magic carpet ride. With a little genie packed away in the back that I didn't know of. He was so incognito, just invisible. And he was like, voila. Cookie dough bites. Raw. Do you need them raw? Totally healthy. I was like, whoa. Like healthy me, I'm not going to die from raw eggs or whatever. So, I snatched that up. But only like one, I think. Just one, I think. And it was good and all, you know. Hey, it was pretty good and all, you know. And then, lo and behold, like about a two and a half month period after that, I'm in the Dollar Tree. And I see not one, not five, not 25, but like five or seven gigantic boxes, like overhaul, overstock, on the shelf of this shit. The cookie dough bites, boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes. Like the whole... That top of the shelf was dedicated to this shit. I was like, wow, I never even look at the top shelf. I was like, dude, it's like, motherfucking hooray up in here, you know? It was like Shangri-La or something, a dollar tree for me. It was just such a tasty dessert, you know? Only had a dollar, well, it was a dollar twenty-five at that time. I was like, it's worth it still. I mean, I can't beat that price anywhere else. I didn't do my research, so, and it's like, if they sell it, you know, it's not like it's all over the place. You know, people are practically giving away on the streets. Like, it's not, it seems to be kind of a big deal. Maybe I don't even know, man. 
but they did they do now sell it but at the Dollar Tree but I went to the Dollar Tree after the last time I got a box or two and they were like yeah I don't know if we're gonna get it it's just like one of them specialty items that they throw in every once in a while I was like oh. but they'll probably sell it everywhere else but it's like bummer dude Dollar twenty-five like dessert tray is like totally possibly kaput. So I'm like bummer. But she doesn't know, so I'm keeping my hopes high. What a long story about cookie dough bites. If you haven't tried these cookie dough bites, and it says specifically on the package you can eat them raw. Everything else says do not eat raw. It's like a giant disclaimer that your heart's just gonna fucking walk right out of your chest over it. It's like jeez. I've been doing just everybody in my generation I've been doing just fine unless that's like the secret to why cancer exists so that's a tough one to pinpoint we just kind of say it's this and that meanwhile the this is and that's that are causing cancer now were the this is and that's that were healthy and vivacious in the medical <laughs> medical community you should and be plentiful with this product here 40 years later, it's going to kill you. It's like, dang. Maybe Wi-Fi frequencies in the air will just, like, heal us. I mean, uh, who fucking knows? I mean, I think that we can charge everything up through mag magnets alone. I mean, it creates its own field. You could technically call that AC current. So... I mean, technically, it's like, is it DC? Not, it's not AC or DC, really. It's a magnetic field. But it is a power source, I'd say. I mean, it fucking brings things to it. Or however the physics really work in that whole dynamic of magnets and attraction. That's a tough one, man. I mean, we see what it is. We're like, what the fuck's going on there? Maybe the other one's pulling that one, and he's so resistant... At the one of a smaller weight, whatever the fuck that really means. Because what the heck's weight, you know? I mean, it's determined by all the factors around it. What is weight? You know? Is it? I guess it's like whatever exists as when you put it on this instrument of measuring, you know? Weight. And given all the factors anything I mean even humidity level for Christ's sake this is the weight whereas in another parts of our natural environment i.e. space weight is a bit different I think in some cases they said it was like negative so you're actually like less less weight you know what I'm saying you just lose weight you're like no longer that weight you like, <laughs> I don't know, man. You got like, I mean, if this was like EBT, you'd be broke and hungry. But if it's weight, you're like, damn, I can do more than just fly. You could like float yourself places. I guess you could like float fast. But he's not just floating exactly. Or in purgatory. Weight, no weight. You're like now floating with a velocity, kind of, I guess. But I don't know how it works. <laughs> I'm sort of guessing and throwing, you know, punches at it. All right, so <laughs> I'm like circling around this place. You're gonna think I'm some vultures that show up like one day past the day and you're like, man, we can park this girl. I don't even see bones. Dollar General was like, geez, man, great dot Tuesday. Come on, man, it's Wednesday. Like, geez, okay. Cookie dough bites. All right, that's about it. I mean, I'm going on 19 minutes already. I can't even believe it. I probably got here in five. <laughs> um, you, I will have a good day, you know, or a good morning. Well, whenever you see this, this thing's going to take me who knows how many hours to upload. So it probably won't be morning by then. Unless it's like tomorrow morning. But I'll, I'll probably make another one. Who knows? I'll probably make a fucking 15 of them today. <laughs> All right, talk to you later. Bye.